We're designing the Honda Smart Home to achieve net zero energy goals, which means that on an annual basis, we'll be producing as much or more renewable energy as we consume from the grid. But it's not enough to just put a bunch of solar panels on the roof. We really want the house itself to be very energy efficient. So we started with a concept called passive design. This is an old idea, but we're really trying to optimize it by applying some very modern design tools. Passive design basically just means building your house to work with nature as much as possible. And this lets you really reduce the amount of energy that's needed for heating and cooling. So we're looking at how do you work with the local climate conditions? How do you position the house on the site for maximum efficiency? And then how do you build the outer layers, the shell that we call the envelope? Davis happens to be a really great place to apply these passive design techniques. We are in the valley, um, Central Valley, where our summers are quite warm, but most evenings in the summer cool down quite a bit. We can use that cool air at night to basically bring into the house and avoid the use of air conditioning the next day. This is the south side of the building here, and as you can see, there's overhangs up above here and on the first floor, which shade the high summer sun, so keep the sun out from inside the house during the summer. But when the sun's angle in the wintertime, it allows that sun in to provide free heat. The envelope is the outside of the building that basically separates the indoors from outdoors. So that's your walls, your windows, your roof, your floor. So the elements of the house um, include a, a double stud wall, uh, triple pane windows. The roofing material is a cool roofing material which reduces the amount of heat gain. The slab is fully insulated because we are heating the house and cooling the house through the floor and we want all that heating and cooling to actually get into the space and minimize the loss to the ground. Uh, so what we're doing today is we're sealing the Honda Smart Home here at Davis. And what we're using is a new technology that we're developing for sealing envelopes um, using an aerosol spray. And it is able to automatically seal buildings without a lot of the manual processes that go on in typical sealing. So we're using a blower door just to simply pressurize the building while we apply the spray. So the aerosol fog on the inside is kind of driven to the leaks uh, by the airflow because uh, when you pressurize the building, the only place for the air to escape is through leaks in the shell. California's goal is to build zero net energy homes by the year 2020. So this house is a really good example on strategies that we can use to meet California's zero net energy goals. By using these passive design techniques, we're able to really reduce the amount of energy required for heating and cooling the home. This lets us use much smaller mechanical equipment that's also very efficient. So as a whole, we should be using about 75% less energy than a typical home. Smart, passive design really is the first step to achieving your net zero energy goals.